What's up guys? How are we all doing out there today? If you guys are all well, uh, welcome back for another video. This one has been long awaited for both you and me. I'm super pumped for this one, guys. It's been a while since I've released my last video and I have a very good reason as to why, so I will give all that information at the end of this video. I don't want to clog it up in the beginning. Also, I will give the giveaway winner for the uh, shifter spring kit. Uh, a lot of people have entered, so I'll get, a rent I'll get a random winner for you guys and have that posted up on the screen. We'll also have that at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, just all in all guys, as you guys can probably already tell from the title, we are going to be getting the, pr uh, the base coat and the clear coat done on the 240. As of right now, it's primed. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's going to be in the top right hand corner, probably popped up just right now. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out before you come watch this video, you go, do, go, you know, go ahead and do so. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what we have going on in the engine bay right now. We're going to go ahead and mix up some paint. I'm going to show you guys what color we're working with, mix up some clear, and uh, hopefully we get a nice result at the end of this thing. Well, it's about the first time I've been back here in the shop in about two weeks. Uh, like I said, that's probably the reason why you guys haven't seen a video. So stay tuned for that. It's some super exciting stuff, you know, some really awesome stuff happening in my life, and I'm really pumped about it. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and just dive right into our little booth setup. Um, part of the mess, it's like I said, it's 2 in the morning. Last thing I want to do right now before I start painting is cleaning. Obviously, we're going to clean the engine bay, is, and that's what we exactly just did just now. So everything is cleaned down. Like I said, um, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, not the whole Prime in the engine bay video, but the previous video, we got, went ahead and sanded down the engine bay with some 600 grit, and uh, it is basically just ready for some base coat, guys. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just mix up some base coat. I'm a little bit sleepy right now, but hey, once I see some color coming down, I feel like I'm going to just perk right up. I'm going to get, you know, get so excited to get this thing done. This is a huge, huge stepping stone, guys. Once this is painted, the motor can go back in. I have the... What am I stepping on? I have a flywheel that I'm going to be putting in, so that was basically the one thing that we were waiting on as well, because we obviously we need that to put the tranny on and uh, get the whole you know motor and uh, tranny back into the car. But uh, yes, yeah, so like I said, once this is done, we can go ahead and start smashing everything together slowly, piece by piece, and uh, get this thing on the road, guys. You have no, you have no idea how pumped I am to drive this thing again, especially with the amount of power and just the whole. Just it's a, it's a, it's a completely different setup. If you guys are new. Uh, definitely go check out some of my past videos. This thing obviously, this thing was running. I've had this thing running. This is going to be the third year I've owned the car. Uh, I wasn't making videos throughout the whole time I've had the car, unfortunately. But if you guys are new, go ahead and check out the previous videos. I was driving it, in-car videos, all that fun stuff. So that was a stock motor setup. Well, a little bit modified uh, RB25 turbo on an RB20 motor. Uh, it made 249 to the wheels. But obviously, okay, I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I'm getting so off topic. But we're going to go ahead and uh, just start mixing some paint up, guys. We got everything, you know, wiped down. We're going to go ahead again with some, uh, what's that called? Some tack rag. Get everything as nice and clean as we can. Mask everything off that we don't want to get painted. I'm just excited to be back in front of the camera, guys. I'm probably rambling. If you guys are still with me, get ready. We're going to make some paint. Alright guys, so time to mix up some base coat. This one in specific guys, the color is, the color code, first of all, is LP2. This color came on the, well it says here, but I don't believe this is right. Eh, maybe it's right. The 95 to 2001 uh, R33 GTRs. Uh, there's a bunch of different midnight purples, uh, but this one in specific is the one that appeals most to me. Uh, I absolutely love it in the dark, it's like pitch black, but once when you get this thing cracked in the sun, it just looks absolutely insane. Uh, it's a really deep plum purple. You guys will see what it looks like in just a minute here. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this top off. So, right off the bat, as you guys can see, um, it's kind of hard to get it, you know, on camera right now, but, uh, you know, this thing, obviously this is just kind of on the top of the lid, but you guys can kind of get a feel for what it looks like right now. See if I can get you, get you in there. We're going to go ahead and put on our reducer here. Go ahead and put it up to, it's going to be 22 ounces, because we put up to 16, so 2 to 1. So we're going to be 8 ounces of this. So now you can go ahead and mix this up. So now, this is a little bit dirty, guys. Last time it was, you know, it was super late last time and I didn't get a chance to fully clean it. So, you know, bear with me with this one. This is nice and clean. This is brand new. So we're going to go ahead and use this. Pop this in right there. All right. So we have a full thing of, well, pint. Well, not pint. We have, what is it, a pint? Somewhere around there. We have a good amount of paint here. 
Uh, so hopefully this will be enough and so we don't have to keep mixing it up. This should be good for the uh, amount of coats that we have to do here. Uh, hopefully, you know, first coat guys right off the bat, it's going to be a light one. Let me just go ahead and just kind of assemble this guy here. Screw on that. There we go. And now the gun. We got everything set up here. Got our nice, you know, water, air, oil separator things. And now uh, we're going to go ahead and just connect up our gun here. And uh, we're good to go. All right, guys. Well, hopefully, well, I can take this off. We haven't started painting yet. <laughs> so, okay, right away, I'm just going to go ahead and adjust my fan and all that good stuff right here. I'm going to go ahead and just test it out on the side piece of tarp just so I have exactly what I want as far as setting goes with the gun. Uh, you, with the metallics, guys, you just want to make sure you give it a quick little, you know, mix around in there. If it's been sitting for a while, because all those little particles will kind of drop to the bottom. First coat is done, like I said, real light dusting. Once we have this coat down, this is basically just so it has something to, you know, to grip to the next coat. So you want to apply it a little bit more wet. Uh, so that is what we're doing now. Like I said, just waiting for it to dry, and we're going to go ahead and apply our second coat, guys. I'm pretty, pretty pumped. Well, we have, I think, three, three coats. Oh God, maybe even four. It's, it's five o'clock in the morning. I don't even know what's going on anymore. All I know is that I gotta get this thing done. So we have probably maybe one, maybe two coats left. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the paint that's in the gun right there. Uh, so I had to fill it up one more time actually to uh, a total of um, 12, no, 15 total ounces. So yeah, so that's what I'm basically doing now. It's really tough to make sure you get in all the crevices, guys. Uh, especially with a 240, I'm sure all cars are kind of like this. There's just so many, you know, places to get underneath, you know, like underneath that little bar right there. Um, especially in these corners, guys, that's a real, that's, it's pretty tough to get in there. Everything looks amazing. We have no runs. And I'm just super pumped. Like I said, it's 5 in the morning or somewhere around there. One more, maybe two more coats, hopefully, and we will be ready to set the clear. Yeah, so <sighs> we're going to be here for a little bit. And uh, But hey, it is what it is. We got to get the car done. And uh, I can't wait to see it finish, guys. Well, it's uh, about 5.30 a.m. Eating a donut, having some coffee. <sighs> it's good, it's good. A little breakfast, you know? Birds are chirping, but uh, we're plugging away. Gotta do the clear coat still. <sighs> okay. Well, I've waited about 30 minutes since I applied the base coat, so I got about at least another 30 more minutes to go before I can go and apply the clear coat. So I figured I'd sit down and talk with you guys and kind of explain as to what has been going on here lately. That's, you know, kind of explain why I haven't been posting videos. Uh, basically, I got a new job, and it's pretty much my dream job. So I am absolutely super, super pumped. So you guys are probably like, Galvin, what is the job? Well. The place is called Modified Custom Installations. You know, I've only been there for a week, um, a week, and then the week before, yeah, I did kind of like a testing training type of thing. So, there, I was there for three days the week before, and then I had a full week, and then now today's Sunday, so last week I had a full week. So I just basically haven't really had too much time to uh, uh, get some videos made for you guys. And also the fact that I've been waiting for my paint to, uh, you know, get my paint and all that stuff. So I finally got it just the other day. So yeah, so basically I you know, hope you guys are, aren't too bummed the fact that I've been uh, a little bit slow as far as videos go. But now the fact that the engine bay is getting painted and it's going to be good to go. Now the videos will start to crank out. I'm not, don't, don't expect like 
four videos a week, maybe like I'm hoping one to two a week. Uh, I really want to stick to that. Like I said though, with the schedule now, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than uh, my kind of uh, open schedule that I had because uh, I kind of worked on my own clock. But yeah, so like I said, the place is called uh, Modified Custom Installations. You guys can check them out on Facebook if you guys are local in Rochester. Definitely hit them up, hit me up. Let's get you some work done. Let's get you a tent. I can put you, you know, get you a nice deal and stuff like that. So, uh, what else? Oh, the giveaway winner. I will do that at the end of the video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, that's basically just the update. I'm just, <laughs> I haven't been in the garage in like, like I said, like two weeks. So this is absolutely awesome uh, to see the car again and to see it actually getting some progress. This is big too. Like once the clear is on. Motor should hopefully go in sometime this week. Uh, if I can make it through, you know, on a, on a night, you know, sometime during the nighttime, then I might be able to get it in for you guys. But uh, we got to get the flywheel all fitted up. Uh, I'll do a clutch and flywheel install, and then uh, you know, all that good stuff. So things are going to be happening really soon here. Like I said, basically, like I, if you guys are new, all we've been waiting for is to get this engine bay painted, and uh, so like this is happening right now. And finally, you know, and that's pretty much it, guys. We're gonna wait another like 30 minutes or so for this uh, clear coat to dry or base coat to dry, and then we will be good to go with some clear. So it's just a waiting game. Okay, guys. Well, just kind of a quick update as far as just you know the end of the base coat. This light up here is kind of messing with all the lighting of this camera, and it's all messed up. So what I'm seeing on the screen looks nothing like what I see in person. It's a lot, you know, it's a lot brighter on the screen, and it's it's just ex the exposure is way off. So. Um, uh, I looked it all over and everything looks perfect. Uh, I couldn't really see any issues. The only thing I could really see that, I mean, it's not really too big of a deal. And I don't even know if it's going to show up on camera. Uh, you guys can kind of see if this thing will focus. There you go. You guys can kind of see those little dots right there. Uh, you know, not, not, not too many, not too bad. There's one kind of there in the corner as well. Something obviously, you know, something landed in the paint. I probably should have went ahead and just tacked rag between every single coat. I guess that's something for you guys to keep in mind. And uh, also, if you guys have any questions as far as like, you know, how to do things as far as painting goes, I'm not a professional by any means, but you know, I've done it. This is my second time using a gun, and it honestly came out absolutely perfect. So if you guys have questions, just let me know. And uh, obviously, with base coat, it all comes out matte. It all comes out flat. So. Even if you have a metallic, you won't really see the metallic until you put that clear coat on. It's like it's like a mer it's kind of like makes it pop, you know. So uh, yeah, so I'm basically just really excited to get the clear coat on and see how it looks like as a finished product, guys. I'm ready to go home too. I tell you that much. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up the clear coat or the clear. I'm also gonna be using a reducer just because that's the way I, you get a, a much smoother finish as far as clear goes and lays down a lot nicer. Uh, so I'm just basically going to reduce it by about 10%, nothing crazy, uh, just a little bit and see how it goes from there. And then if we need more, uh, we can always just chuck some in there uh, as we go. Alright, so here we go. Time to apply the clear coat. All right, don't worry, this is on the outside. That's on the outside, it's clean. All right, so same principle applies. We're gonna do a light first coat, and then uh, from there, I will kinda explain where we're going. But yeah, first off, just a light first coat. I also went ahead and tacked, ragged it all. So I got all of the little uh, dust, you know, particles out. All right, it's six in the morning. Well, it's past six. So uh, if I seem to act a little crazy, That'd be why. It's almost 7 in the morning. I've been here since like 11 at night. And uh, so, yeah, and I worked all day today, you know, on Saturday. So, but I want to get this done, guys. You know me. You know me, you know. Got to get her done. All right, guys, this is going to be hopefully our third and maybe final coat. Maybe we'll get four in out of here, but uh, reduced it about 30%. Last time was about 10%, and uh, I think this is going to be pretty good. It was about actually 25%. 30's a bit high, but uh, it's all about experimenting, guys. So uh, let's just go in and uh, start painting again. 
All right, guys, so I figured I'll do one more coat and I actually put a little bit more of a ratio, like a higher ratio of reducer. You guys see me? But uh, I'm gonna just kind of test it out here, guys. It's like I said, it's all trial and error. Um, everything's looking good. I got a tiny little puddle down on the frame rail. That's not a big deal. I'm actually happy that happened there and not somewhere else. Uh, just because that will easily, you know, we'll, we'll, buff, we'll, uh, we'll sand it down with like some thousand plus grit and uh, we'll polish it up and it should look brand new again. So, as far as, you know, getting everything as perfect as we can, it looks absolutely epic in person. No, like, orange peel is like almost zero, which is amazing. Um, just a couple little areas where I'm going to need to give a little bit more clear and uh, we should be good to go. We should be done for the day. All right, guys, so kind of a first finish glance at the final products here. I'm pretty speechless. I can't, I can't, I can't lie to you guys. For my first attempt at doing something like this, especially something with the metallic paint, I don't know if you guys are familiar with painting or whatever, but metallic paint is super, super hard to get like right. And I don't know if I got it right by any means, but it sure looks awesome. And uh, don't worry, that's obviously going to get taken off. I don't want to take it off now because that paint that's on the, uh, the plastic is probably going to come off like it did because I tried already. As you guys can see, a little white flake. Um, don't really know what to do with it right now because I don't really want to take it out because it's still wet. Don't really want to mess up anything else. Um, there is a run. There is a run we need to take care of. It's not bad at all, so we'll get that you know taken care of. No big deal. But other than that, guys, I think the color looks absolutely epic. Like, insane. Like, perfect. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and switch up the valve cover setup this year. Just because I think the red won't, won't really go with it anymore. However, for now, those are going to stay. But uh, definitely going to maybe switch it up for this year as well. Uh, but yeah, this is done, guys. I'm really happy. It's about almost 9 o'clock. It's probably like 8.30 in the morning. This took a super long time, but <laughs> I'm really happy with the results. And I'm glad I did it myself and uh, you know didn't pay someone else to do it. Because uh, here I am learning stuff. And uh, now I have experience you know, painting and stuff like that. And... Uh, yeah, and, you know, of course, it's my car, so that makes it so much better, the fact that I even, you know, did all this stuff myself. In the dark, you know, when the lights are off and there's not much sunlight or no sunlight or no natural light, it's almost like a pitch black. It's really cool. The color is sweet. Uh, when it pops, you know, it comes out in the sun really well. It really hits you. I really, really dig the color. Couldn't be happier, honestly. But, yeah, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, if you guys really liked the color... Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, it would really mean a lot to me, and uh, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to clean up, uh, let's pick out the giveaway winner, and let's, let's, let's end this video, guys. It's been one long day for me, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I, I, don't even, I don't even know if I'm tired or what, but we got it done, and it looks absolutely amazing. Alright guys, so I'm going to pick out the uh, giveaway winner. I already picked it out. Uh, I did a kind of a shuffle of all the comments and then picked one randomly. So completely fair, don't worry about that. There's no favors. I don't even know who any of these people are. But uh, we're going to go ahead and the winner is, where was it? I took a little snapshot of it. Alright, the winner is the JDM Panda. He said, I want the shifter spring kit. He says he has an RB25 trans. So that the JDM Panda. If you're watching, man, definitely make sure to you know get in touch with me within the next week. If you don't get in touch with me within a week, I'll probably end up picking a new winner. So let me know. Let me know where you live, address, all this stuff. I'll get this stuff shipped out to you. So uh, congratulations, and uh, guys, I'm I'm gonna call it a day. I don't even know, like I said, if I'm tired or not, but I definitely need some sleep. <laughs> I've been here for ooh, like nine hours, ten hours or so. It's definitely a time-consuming job. Like, it's not simple by any means. Just take your time, and most likely it will come out super, super rad. Uh, if you guys have any questions as far as the painting, you know, whole process goes, let me know in the comments below. I pro you know, on a side note, I probably look like mad rough right now, and I apologize for all that because wearing the mask for like nine hours straight and then the GoPro head cam, it, it, okay. But uh, <laughs> regardless, guys, it looks awesome. I'm super happy with the final product. Once we get the fenders on there, once we get the hood on there, It'll just be awesome when you open up the hood and see everything, you know, coming together inside there. I'm really happy the way it's coming out, guys. And uh, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't be happier. So time to put the motor in. That's going to be out as soon as possible, hopefully, you know, within the next week or so. So 
definitely stay tuned for that, guys. So as always, just want to say thank you so, so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I've got my intercooler piping for the cold side, so all that's going to be plumbed up, and then I'll be able to figure out where exactly I'm going to cut the hole for this side. But yeah, this side I'm still figuring it out. So, uh, but other than that, you know, fitment, everything, <laughs> it looks so good. Like, it looks so good. That banana was green when I got here. I think I've been here too long.